Hello, audience, and welcome to another episode of Joel Tries, where I, the Joel, try out a game. And today, we'll be playing Double Dragon. It's a port of the original arcade game from 1987 that was developed by Technos. This version was produced by Trade West and published by Taito. Oh, right, right. <laughs> forgot you have to hit select. Ah, I'm slick. I was pushing start and nothing was happening. It was fantastic. Great audio. Ah, there we go. So yeah, my girlfriend got kidnapped. I have to go rescue her. It's horrible. These guys. Yeah. I just kicked him. Kicked him some more. I'm gonna punch this one. Punch, 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 punch. Yeah, take that. More punching for you. Hey, you. Hey, guy. Got some punching for you, too. Yeah. What do you think of that? What's that? You didn't have enough? There's some more. Haha. <laughs> Alright. This game was put on the Virtual Console in 2008. I highly recommend it to anyone with a Wii in the internet. Yeah, those ladies are called Lindas. They don't really look like ladies, but take my word for it. They're supposed to be feminine. Aw, uh, they took my whip away. Aw, uh, these guys. I forget what these guys' names are. Yeah, I got two hearts now. That means I get to uppercut. Rah! Punch, 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 punch. Woo! I'm the champion. Oh, I can do a headbutt. I want to do a headbutt. Yeah, headbutted that guy. Did you see that? That was awesome. Yeah, so Billy here, and possibly his brother Jimmy, are going to try to save Marion from these bad guys. Known as the Shadow Warriors. They're big jerks. He uh, kidnapped his girlfriend. <sighs> Give me that whip. Quit hitting me. Man. Women, tell it. It's right now. I got a whip. Aw, uh, yeah. Kick, kick, whip. There's more? Yeah, so the characters are, uh... They have a good level of detail and character. They're not, like, ridiculously detailed or anything, but, uh, for their size, they, they move pretty well, and they... They're kind of classic in their appearance. I like how they look. They, they react well when you hit them. They look really sad. Oh, no, it's a bubble. No, bubble, you cannot have my candy core. My chocolate filling is not for you. Ah, look at that. I'm draining my health. That's alright. I got something for him right here. <laughs> yeah, and stay out. This is my level. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this NES version was put out in 1988, and it rocks. It has a great soundtrack. It's just really rocking. Every track in it just super memorable, super catchy. This one here is kind of kind of groovy. <laughs> I think the backgrounds have a nice level of detail. You can tell what everything is. There's a nice variety of colors. Everything is kind of bright and candy colored, but, you know, still at the same time, you get a sense of danger. Oh. Ah. Dynamite hit my feet and took out a lot of my health. That's not fair. Yeah, punch you. Punched him. Yeah, got a client chain link fence. Walk over here. So yeah, the controls in this game is one of its real strengths. It really does exactly what you want it to. You, you push the button, your character does it. There's no strangeness to it. It's all very straightforward. You get weapons. You don't get to use them for very long, but when you do, they're pretty cool. Uh, these guys are the dynamite are kind of jerks. I don't like them. <laughs> Hit him with his own dynamite. Ah, uh, yeah. Ow. Damn it. 
Maggle Fraggle Braggendagon. Well, ah, oh, I'm off to a great start. And stay out. This is my level. Aha. Dun 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 dun. Home run! I like when you just walk off the edge of something, your guy goes, Whoa! Here we go. I swear I can beat level 2. I mean, it's like the easiest level in the game. Ha! How dare you knock out my bat? This is my bat. Yeah. Sure nice if I still have my bat. Oh well. Yeah, whip you. I whip you. <laughs> yeah. I should probably not get that much pleasure out of that sort of act. But I do. Violence. These guys look kind of like Richard Simmons a little bit. I don't know if that's a compliment for Richard Simmons, or for them, or if I'm deriding Richard Simmons or them, but I do feel like that is the case. Now this boss up here, he's Chen. He's actually like a regular bad guy, but for here he's a boss. There are so many easy ways to beat this guy, but the absolute easiest is just to walk over here. Just climb down this ladder and down this one, and you win. Da 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 da! Yeah? Alright, level 3. Uh, mission 3? Mission 3, sure. Here we go. Rah! Oh, he's got a knife! Ha, you missed. Ugh. My punching did not work. Ow, stab it. Ah, kicking worked, though. Now, these guys in the tank tops are called Williams. And, uh, they're annoying. But, uh, usually they're not very difficult to deal with. They get smarter as the game goes on, but they never really gain any, uh, any, in any health. So it always takes the same amount of hits to kill them, even as they get smarter. These guys are called Chens. They're a pain in the butt. The best way to deal with them is to kick them, grab their hair, and then kick them in the face. Because, uh, that's awesome. Ow. Sometimes they do that and they make me grumpy. Yeah. I don't know about guys that buy pants that match their hair color. That seems like a little bit too careful accessorization. And if you look, they got a little bit of purple shadow around their neck. I think they wear matching necklaces, too. I think these are, uh, metrosexual martial artists. At the very least. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, more chin. Yeah, kick him in the face. Something really satisfying about just grabbing your opponent by the hair, kick him in the face, and letting him fall to the ground to his death. I don't know. This game brings out a very violent side in me. Like, I just love hitting people with bats in this game. Just grab the bat, just knock them down. They don't get up. They don't get up. Yeah, they don't get up. Oh, um, bridges. My one and only weakness. Baseball bats. My also one and only weakness. Ah. I will make him into a bridge. Get over there. Ah. Ah, man, he died. Oh, oh, crap. Well, that was me showing off my amazing skills at Double Dragon. Let's, let's give it one more try. Here we are. The blue-haired guy, Chen, that you never see again, is there. Alright, here we go. Grigger. Grigger. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try to do this with like uh seventy percent less sucking if we can help it. Yeah, that's our plan. Like we wanna at least get to the end of mission three if we can help it. I mean I, I think this game deserves it. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, here we go. I'm putting the hurt down on the Williams. Yeah. I'm Billy Lee. Don't you forget it. I'm I'm the master of these streets. Uh, 
The whips here are red, and, they're, and Linda's hair is red, but later on their hair is a different color. It's purple. And then when their hair is purple, their whips are also purple. Don't you be coming at me with that oil drum. I know where you live. What would your mama think if she knew you were throwing oil drums at strangers, huh? So I'm, uh, rocking the completely undefined pecs and, uh, chest area with the blue vest, because, uh, you know, denim is in this season. And, uh, I don't like these guys, because they rock a similar style to me. I'm like, look here, guys. I I'm the only one around here who's allowed to wear, wear a vest, because I'm the boss. Am I wearing shoes, or, like, am I wearing, like, meat, like, like, body-colored shoes? Like flesh tone boots. Maybe they're boots made from human flesh of people that he's beaten to death in prior adventures when he was training for this. Number five. Oh, can't jump kick yet. <laughs> yeah, learn that one the hard way. Once I get some more hearts, I'll be able to jump kick. Using the whip doesn't get me enough experience, though. That was a little trick you can do here. Whoa! Whoa! You gotta be careful how you do that, you might fall off the level, though. It's unsafe. If you play around with the enemies and make them walk around right, you can get them to walk up there, too. It's kind of fun. Ah, these guys again. Yeah, three hearts. I can jump kick now. Ow, it did, did me really well, too. Yeah. TJC. Uh, I don't know what that means. SS. Not sure. Ah, uh, five point T? Uh, there's some strange signs. See, I beat these guys up, and then their friend comes out. Look at this guy. Look how mad a Bobo looks. Yeah, a Bobo. Look at him, he's like a full head taller than me. This is so unfair. It's alright, though. Come on, you know you wanna. You know you wanna fall down there. Come on, hit me. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Oh. Too bad. Too bad. Here we go. Mission two. And... Here we go. These guys are also rocking my style. These, these guys are all freaking, uh... What's that called? They're all biting my style. With my vest and uh, pants combo with flesh-colored shoes. No wonder I'm so angry with them. I don't really want my girlfriend back. I want him to quit, like, copying me. This is my style. I don't care if you put spikes on your shoulders. It's not enough. You guys need to take your sad-looking butts and go get some new clothes. Look, only one guy around here is allowed to rock the vest. Especially since you guys have better abs than me. You guys don't deserve to live with your awesome abs. Help. You guys need to rock that in the afterlife. Steel girders. That'd be an awesome weapon in this game. I want a steel girder. Ah, he got dynamited. Alright. This guy with the baseball bat can be quite dangerous if you're not careful. Especially if you haven't gotten the jump kick yet. Like, if you don't punch a lot, you don't get a lot of experience. It makes it very hard to get your jump kick early on. You want that jump kick at the very least. And actually, you want to pursue punching as much as possible in the early game. So you can get the elbow drop, which is, like, the most damaging attack there is. You want that elbow drop. That thing can drop in a bobo in, like, four hits. It's awesome. It's not useful for much else than fighting a bobos, except for the final boss, but it's still worth having. I like the trees in the background. They look kind of like they're on fire, almost. And more red-haired Lindas with red whips and purple outfits. Lindas have muscular arms. They're beefy Lindas. They have red eyes, though. They're, like, um... They must be like, uh, albinos. Yeah. Now I feel even worse for hitting him with a whip. They're not just am I hitting women with a whip, they're albino women. I feel really bad about this. That's right, though. I'll just have to suck it up. Cause, you know, when you're saving your girlfriend, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to kill her, aren't I? In order to proceed. Can I just scroll her off the edge and keep going? We have to go all the way down there and kill her before this guy will show up. Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> Chen, you don't get to fight me. I'm gonna go do this thing again. Nah, nah, nah. Are you really just gonna stand there while I'm walking down here? You're not gonna come after me or anything? Fantastic. 
Here we go, mission three. I'm totally not going to fall in the water this time. I'm going to redeem myself in the eyes of you, internet audience. Again. Yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> How ironic. Uh, well, that didn't work. I was trying to do that cool thing where you could jump kick him out of the air. Didn't, didn't work out. That's kind of cool, though. Ah, 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 man. Please stop fighting better than me. You're making me look bad. Come on. No. Yeah. You done been jump kicked by Mr. Billy. Deal with these chins. Yeah. I think I need one more heart to do the hair pull. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Ha. Uh, uh, what does number five get you? Oh, number five is the sit on you and punch you. The kind of weird looking maneuver. Yeah, I think that's five. Or is it six? I don't remember. Let's see, is one of these guys still alive? Yeah, I got the punch you all you're down move. It's kind of screwed up. Ah, uh, come on. Quit being a jerk, Mr. Chen. I wasn't treating you like a jerk. I was just kicking you a lot. Yeah. Take that. That's what you get for having overly accessorized outfit. Uh, pow. I love the level of detail in this forest section. There's a lot of layering going on here. The ground has its own texture. You got some close by grass. You got close by trees. Far away trees. You got like far away like vines. A lot going on there in that background. Alright, let's see if I can not die on this this time. Nope. Nope, died again. Ah. Man, that bridge. I think that bridge is my worst enemy in this game. It really is. It's like the helicopter in the second one. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, no. Ah. Man. That is, this is just embarrassing. That, that was not my fault that time. That guy... He hit me, he hit me and knocked me in the water. There we go. That's how it's supposed to happen. Man. Well, at least I was able to make a little progress beyond my first bit, so this one's at least worth doing. There we go. There we go. We're gonna get these guys, cause we got a bat. We're gonna totally use this bat to beat this level. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. No bat. These guys. Man, I wish I had the elbow drop already. These guys are easy to beat with the elbow drop. Need punch them more. I need that last heart so I can do it. Oh, it's not the last heart. I think it's the second to last heart. It's the last heart's the jumping spin kick. So yeah, I just need like 80 more points and I'll be able to do it. I don't know. These guys are pretty tough and they keep hitting me in the back of the head. Jerks. There, I got it. Elbow punch. Yeah. This thing will knock these guys out in two hits. Knock a William out in one hit and a Linda out in one hit. A Bobos are another matter, though. They take a few more hits. About the same as a Chen. I think they have the same amount of health as a Chen. The trick is to kind of dance with them. You go up and down, and you elbow punch them. They kind of go up and down. As long as they're moving up and down, they're not going to attack you as much. Their attacks do a lot of damage. Sometimes they'll kind of duck and you won't hit them. But about one in five times, one in four times, you're guaranteed to hit them. Look, I already beat one. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Yeah. There's something wrong with these abobos. They look scary. There we go. Oh, we're into the pit of death. Oh, ow. And, oh, no. You can't get me stalag tights. Mites? I forget. One point's up, the other point's down. They're created almost the same way. Stuff drips off a ce of a roof ceiling and collects sediment or something. I don't know. Science class. Yeah. Here we go. Oh man, I'm doing great now. It's gonna be awesome. And we jump. Alright, I'm beating me up some chins. This section can be quite annoying because there's nowhere to dodge these guys. 
I made the mistake a few times of trying to use uh, elbow drops on these guys, but you got to get way too close for that to be effective. If you happen to maneuver yourself in such a way as you get really close just on accident, then an elbow drops fine when it fits, but you don't want to use that as your exclusive uh, strategy against chins, especially in a 2D environment. Definitely would rather stick to kicking and hair pulling if you can help it. There we go. Just works better on because they have that massive range. Uh, the cave level. This this can be quite annoying if you don't already have the elbow drop, but since elbow drops kill Williams in one hit, it's not so bad. Ow. Well, they're not doing that. There we go. Come on. Ow. Ah. I might not make it much further in this, because uh, I'm running low on lives and health. Aw, oh, you know, don't pick up the dynamite. Don't be a jerk. Yeah. It's probably not going to go much farther in this, but that's okay. This has been a pretty long try as it is. It shows that uh, I spent a little bit of time on this game in the past. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And I guess that's about it. That's a pretty long run. I think I showed you a pretty good chunk of what's going on with this try. And uh, if you would like to make a comment or get a hold of me somehow, just leave a comment for this video or reach me at my Twitter at I'm a Joel. I am a Joel. And I guess that wraps up this edition of Joel Tries. Stay tuned for more The Joel Action.